If I wasn't living at the foyer, I wouldn't be in education. I wouldn't have done any of my previous community services courses or my child, youth and family and intervention. I, I don't know where I would be without the foyer. Like, probably, I, I definitely wouldn't be as far as I am today. What do I love about the youth foyer? Where do we begin? It's just so easy to connect with everyone, even the staff. They're very open and friendly. It's like, it's like their parents, but also really close friends at the same time. I came to be at the youth foyer through residential care. So I grew up in residential care from the age 10 right through till 18 and then moved out of there and obviously into here. I had some issues with family breakdown and violence at home. So I moved out and I was staying with my aunt for a little bit. Um, then I ended up at the Brayton Refuge in Kayala for a little bit and then moved in here. A lot of them are quite worried when they first move in, but it's not as scary as it seems. Like, it's a new environment and there's a lot of people, but we've all come from the same background. We all understand to an extent how everyone feels when they move in here. And you know, there's always someone that's gonna be a friendly face, come up to you and make you feel welcome. Like, it's, yeah, it does seem really daunting, but it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. It's not only the material things that are here, but also the social connections that I have with people my age and, you know, younger and older than me. Um, the connection that I have with my youth development workers, they're always there to help me in any way possible, whether that's, you know, rewriting a resume, or it's a wake up call in the morning so I can get up and get ready for school or go to work, or if it's them just saying, hey, got those assessments, get them done. One of the big things at the foyer is safety um, for yourself and other students around as well. And the staff, I guess, um, you know, just, it's like everyday life, you've got to be safe where you are and happy where you are and enjoy it. You don't have to worry about going to sleep at night, that something might happen, you know, someone might come into the house or anything like that. Like it's very secure. We've each got our own little key card to get into our rooms and to get into the building. So taking the worry and the stress off, you're living every day to the fullest compared to what you would be if you were living out of home or, you know, on the streets or with a family that's not so great. Like it's, it's really good. Well, when I moved out, I had absolutely no life skills. I knew nothing. I didn't even know how to work a washing machine, but um, the staff here have definitely helped quite a lot um, with cooking and cleaning and just learning how to take care of myself. Studying at GoTave's been amazing. Like the support that the teachers give you, um, just helping you with your work and not only your work, but your outside life. So whether it be getting a job or any support that the staff can't help me with over here, like they've always been there for that. So you have your, obviously have your own space upstairs. So that consists of um, a living space, a kitchenette and a bathroom, um, which is really great. Um, and then I'm more of a social person. So I like to be downstairs in the communal areas. So we have, you know, a kitchen, you know, games room. Um, the office is always open with our team members there, youth development workers. You're not only friends, but you become a family at the foyer because um, a lot of people outside of their foyer life haven't got people that they can call family. So it's, it's really good making connections and yeah. I've made quite a few friends. They're amazing people. It's been really good to sort of connect with people in similar situations as well. Even once you move out of the foyer, they're still going to help and support you. Like, you know, you're welcome back here anytime you want. You can call them for any little or big things that you may need. I really like how they push you to do the best that you can in everything that you do. They push you to go to school every day, get a job, do the best that you can in your studies and everything, especially in school, being the education first youth foyer. If I hadn't moved in here, I probably would have dropped out last year, but here I am going to RMIT this year. Coming from where I've come from, obviously, with the ability to just do what you want, you know, here it's a bit more structured and they really like dive deeper into like, you know, the way things should be done and need to be done. If it wasn't for the youth foyer, I wouldn't know where I would be today. Learning to be independent is not easy, but things that are easy are usually not worth doing. It's definitely worth it to get that stability and um, learn how to take care of yourself and the staff here help you be the best that you can be in everything that you do, especially in education. 
The support is amazing and the connections that you build could last a lifetime.